Welcome to White Lecture Online. Our fourth proof deals with angles. And here we have two angles, angle 1 and angle 2. And we're given that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equals 180 degrees, which means that those two angles are supplementary. We're also given that the measure of angle 1 is equal to 58 degrees. And then we're trying to prove that the measure of angle 2 must therefore be 122 degrees. So again, we start with what's given. We're given the equation that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equals 180 degrees and that the measure of angle 1 equals 58 degrees. So where do we go next? Well, what we probably want to do is replace the measure of angle 1 in here by what it's equal to. Notice that, where's my pen here, that we have the measure of angle 1 and the measure of angle 1. So we're going to substitute what this is equal to into the other equation. So that's called a substitution, which now means that we're going to write this equation as 58 degrees instead of the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equals 180 degrees. And why can we do that? Well, that's called the substitution property of equality. Now that we've done that, we're now going to subtract 58 from both sides. So we're going to take 58 degrees plus the measure of angle 2, and we're going to subtract from that 58 degrees. And we're going to do exactly the same thing from the right side, minus 58 degrees. So I am subtracting. Now why can I do that? Why can I subtract 58 degrees from both sides? Well, they call that the subtraction property of equality. If we do exactly the same thing on both sides, we don't change anything. So we can say this is the subtraction property of equality. And then, of course, when we make the subtraction, that means that this equation turns into the measure of angle 2 is equal to 180 minus 58, which is 122 degrees, which is exactly well, we try to prove. And so by using the two, substitute, the two properties of equality, substitution and subtraction, we're able to show indeed that the measure of angle 2 is 122 degrees. And that's how it's done.